let's talk real quick about U properties and U functions, because that's something that you're going to need to use quite a lot. If you have some C++ code here, which we do, you can see I've added some things uh, called U properties to some of my variables. And if you're used to working in Unity, which some of you might be, this is kind of like adding serialized field to a variable. It just makes it available for you in the editor and in Blueprint. But it goes a little bit deeper than serialized field usually does because you can see I can say this is a U property, which will simply expose it to the reflection system, which makes C++ and Blueprint able to talk to each other. But then we actually have to specify a couple of properties to it. In this case, that would be edit anywhere, meaning that if I go into the engine, I can edit it in this Blueprint defaults. But I can also, if I pull this actor into the world, because it's set to edit anywhere, I can also edit it in the details panel here. If I go back to my U property and I change it from edit anywhere to edit defaults only, and I recompile real quick, now you will note I can't actually edit the static mesh here anymore. But if I go back into the blueprint itself, everything is still editable because the U property is now set to edit defaults only. Well, there's quite a lot of specifiers that we can use in order to specify what we want our U property to be able to do. And there's an entire page about this on the Unreal documentation, which I implore you to read through. I'm not going to talk about all of them right now, today. But maybe even more importantly than U property is U function. You could argue it might be as important, but we can make a U function in much the same way and that one we can assign as blueprint callable so we can call it in blueprint so we have our base weapon uh class here if i compile that and i go into the event graph of our blueprint version and on begin play for instance i can now say weapon shoot that's the function that we just made in c last time is now accessible to us from Blueprint. And that is only because I made this U function Blueprint callable. If I remove that, try as I might, uh, Weapon Shoot doesn't exist in my options for Blueprint because Blueprint has no idea that this exists. It doesn't need to know every single function on every single C++ file at all times because you can make a lot of functions that a Blueprint user, like a end designer or whatever, is never actually going to use and you don't want to just throw everything at them so only when you want a script in blueprint to be able to use a function is when you mark it as a u property and you make it blueprint callable now let's say we have this weapon mesh here but we also want to have something like a float and we make that added default only because we want to be able to edit it and we uh, call this the damage, right? Then we compile and then we want to use that damage in something in Blueprint. Well, I'm going to just spoil that for you. That's not going to work. We have our damage value here and we can edit it because we set it to add it anywhere. But the moment we want to actually get our damage, like get damage, it doesn't exist in Blueprint because we haven't specified that we need to be able to read and or write to this variable in our blueprint graph. We can only edit it in our details panel here. So going back here, we can add more than one specifier into a U property. So we want to be able to add it in the default only, but we also want to be able to uh, blueprint read only. Now in that blueprint that will allow us to get our damage variable because we set it to read only. And as you'll be able to note, we set it to read only. So if we want to try to set our damage, that doesn't exist. We can literally only ever get it. Which again, if you're a programmer working in C++ and you have some designers that are using Blueprint and you're like, okay, you can read my damage value, but please keep your freaking hands off the actual value. I don't want you to change it. You can do that. You can just make it read only and your designers will be entirely lost not being able to change it by hand. 
And of course, you can also make it uh, both readable and writable by just making the blueprint read write. And now we can also set our damage and all the designers are now very happy and all the programmers have just gotten a heart attack. While we're at it, uh, I'm going to also uh, make a quick function here that is something like um, a float calcu uh, calculate damage, something like that, right? Let's just spell it out properly. And let's say that takes in a float for the damage and a float for the multiplier. This is a function that I'm actually not going to use. I'm just putting this in here for an example to show something. Because we can make this U function uh, blueprint callable, that's all fine. But as you might have noticed, our uh, weapon shoot, if we try to call that uh, weapon shoot, that is one of these uh, execute nodes. And that is fine, but what if we want to do something like get player character, one of these type of nodes, right? That doesn't need any execution pins, it just returns a value when it's plugged into something. This is called a Blueprint Pure node, and you can make those inside of Blueprint as well, of course. But the way you do that in C++ is just make it Blueprint Pure. And it doesn't have an implementation, so <laughs> that's not actually going to do anything. <laughs> Uh, so let's just simply uh, return damage multiplied by the multiplier. Again, just as an example. And we have a conflicting name here, so that is my bad. Let's just add an underscore there to fix that conflicting name. And now if we uh, type calculate damage, we get a blueprint pure node where we can put in the damage and the multiplier and it will return a float with the actual damage. It's a very simple case of doing this, in which case you might as well just use a multiply node, right? It's as easy as that. But you can make a lot more complicated calculation and logic in a node like this and just make it easily accessible to your blueprint designers. And again, go check out this page to just read through what all these property tags can do for you because it is very good to be aware of these. But th these ones that I've shown you so far are the ones I personally end up using the most. That is added default only, added anywhere. We have visible anywhere or visible in the defaults only. We have blueprint read write, blueprint read only. For functions, we have blueprint callable and blueprint pure. Those are the most used ones and you're going to be using those 99% uh, of the time when you're making something a U function or a U property. Those other ones also exist and it's good to be aware of them, but I just wanted to show you what this U property and U function stuff is all about. So now that you're aware of that, next time we're going to talk a little bit more about pointers and then we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of actually making a game. And a very big thank you to all of my Patreons. You can see them on screen right now. If you want to help out supporting the channel, there's a link down below in the description to the Patreon page. And a special thank you to Eleanor for supporting at the Cave Digger tier on Patreon.